just make an opening statement and then we'll take questions. I appreciate all being here today. It's an exciting time to be thinking about basketball, men's, women's basketball, obviously right around the corner with games. Uh, we've all kind of started practices. So we've had a chance to actually see our teams live, five on five, and what our returners look like and what some of the newcomers look like. And I think every coach has a good picture, at least right now, of, of some things we'll try and move forward with. Uh, our group is, is coming off of a historical year, a year where you're, you're going to look back and think, how do you top that? Uh, and as a coach, you can always find ways to top that. So that won't be the challenge. The challenge will be meeting those expectations again. Uh, really proud of everything that happened last year, but we're also turning the page and, and moving forward on this year and trying to build on some of that success. The young women in our program are incredibly motivated and driven to, to, to try and uh, continue to move our program forward. Maya and Tegan have been exceptional for us so far in this offseason. Two players that played really key roles last year and sometimes we're a little overshadowed just by Macy and Maddie's accomplishments. Uh, Maya and Tegan are, are truly a couple of the very best players here in the Midwest and we're really lucky to have them on our team. Uh, they're anxious to, to get going and, and kind of move their careers but also our program forward. Uh, some other perimeter players, Riley uh, Jensen and Tylee Irwin, uh, two players that played a lot for us last year will obviously have bigger roles. They've been healthy and, and really taken some steps forward too. And then every year, I think one of the, the great strengths of our program has been there's always new faces that come in that weren't a part of the team last year uh, that will, will step in and have, I think, big impact right away. And uh, Callie Tyson and Tori Nelson in particular, two freshmen that have looked very good here so far this fall. So um, we're anxious to, to see where we are against some other teams. You know, our season is long. We've been practicing against each other all summer, fall, and, and now. So everybody wants to see a different color jersey that you get to compete against. But uh, so far, things are going well. I'm really pleased with, with where we're at. Coach, you mentioned Macy Miller. And, you know, you've had a lot of great players graduate during your tenure here. But the last time you had Macy Miller, you didn't make the NCAA tournament. And she, she's just such an impact player. And how, how does the team move on from that and, and just adjustments they made? And have, have you seen that out of them? They made the good adjustments. And they know that, hey, we're going to lose a great player every year. It's just moving on from that. I don't, I don't, maybe moving on is not the right way. We, we just have to adjust from that. Yeah, I mean, you definitely have to turn the page from everything that happened last year. And Macy was a big part of that. Natty was a big part of it. Sidney Palmer was a big part of it. Uh, you're not just trying to replace statistics every year. You're not just trying to replace points. That's a big part of it, and don't minimize it. But you're also trying to replace personality. You're also trying to replace, uh, you know, leadership. There's a ton of things that have to align in a perfect way to, to have a successful season. And so we'll miss some of those statistics, and those are the obvious things, but we'll miss the leadership, the personalities. Uh, but we do that every year. You know, every year it's a brand new team. And so this year I think we'll, we'll handle it the same way. Uh, you know, we had somebody draft in the WNBA a few years ago too, Megan Vogel, and, and we've obviously moved forward from that. Uh, rather than thinking about, you know, how you replace those players, I think you have to think more about how do you walk through the doors that those players have helped you open whether it be in recruiting or whether it be with your program. And that'll be our focus is trying to embrace those things, but also uh, take advantage of them. And that's where those younger returning players are hungry to do that. Uh, everybody wants to be talked about as how do you replace me when I'm done? <laughs> and, uh, you know, those players are going to be anxious to, to try and fill that role again this year too. Uh, you mentioned Larson being back and with her senior year, how much leadership has she really provided and, you know, you look at the stats, 10 points a game, not a ton, but, you know, pretty good in the rebound, 6.4. She can pass the ball well, you know, 1.7 1, 1. assists there at the forward position. Just how big of a year do you feel she can have leadership and on the court? Well, we're excited to see Tegan in her uh, last year. We've known Tegan a long time. She's uh, That's a jackrabbit family with brother and sister graduating, a younger sister that at least attended South Coast State for a period of time. I've been coming to camps at SDSU for many years, and now to see her in her final year is just a, a special thing, I think, as a, as a coach. Uh, she had a phenomenal year last year, particularly after Christmas, when I think she really gained some confidence, uh, figured out how you know, she can best help our team. I think she's really ready to take a, a big step forward in terms of her statistics. Team looks at her as a captain. She is one of our captains this year. She brings a great deal of leadership and just maturity. Uh, you know, a lot of people, when you watch her play, very focused, very driven, but she's one of the, the, the funniest, most entertaining, you know, players we have on the team, and we have a lot of them, but she's very sarcastic, has a great sense of humor, knows how to keep everything really focused, but all to keep it light, too. Um, so she'll be a big part of, you know, every piece of our team personality. Uh, Maya, great freshman season. Balls up, great sophomore season. Uh, I'm guessing you're expecting the same, another jump this junior season. What she's 
to say what has she improved on? She's been so good so far. What has she improved on going on in her junior season? Yeah, I, you know, Maya's a, a transformational type player. The thing that slowed Maya down has really been injuries. She's had just some really tough injuries her freshman year and sophomore year. Some of them have been really clear in public. Some of them haven't. She just has not really been healthy, and she's worked hard at this off season. And she's probably in, you know, the best place she's been since she's she's been here. Um, you know, when you look at how our team competes against some of the very best opponents, Maya is always a big part of those games. Uh, she was one of the best last year in terms of field goal percentage, scoring, rebounding, assists, block shots. She does a little bit of everything. And so there won't be many things that we put out there offensively and defensively that don't include Maya. You know, she's also a captain on the team. She's really thought of highly by her, her peers and teammates. And uh, we're looking for her to, to have a big year. Uh, Tyler, she got on the second team summit league. What are you kind of expecting out of her this season? And um, Yeah, what are you just kind of expecting out of her? You know, Tylee's role has really changed in the two years that she's been here. That first year as a freshman, she came in off the bench, and she just let that ball fly from the three as much as she could. That was kind of her role, come in and make shots, and she was good at that. And then last year, we really asked her to change that role. You know, we thought we had enough scoring in our group. We really needed some players that would think a little differently and maybe give up a little bit of that. And Tylee was great with it. Um, I think as the year went on, she really became one of the best all-around, you know, players. And I think that's recognized with, with how others view her this year. Uh, she can score, and she will more than she did last year, but she'll still rebound and defend and, and fit well with all the other players. And, and you need people that are willing to do that. And, and Tylee will be a great you know, complement to all the other things that we, we have going on. Addison Hirschman, she played 19 games off the, uh, 17 games off the bench for you last year. She's a sophomore now. How much playing time is she going to get? Uh, is she going to be a key player for you, or what's kind of her role this season? Yeah, I'd say that sophomore class probably has the biggest room to, to take a step forward. You know, all of them are really accomplished. Um, you know, Peyton Burkhart played a lot for us. She's back as a sophomore. Uh, Lindsey Thunick is back as a sophomore. Those two had quite a bit of game experience. Addison Hirschman, Sydney Stapleton, Jordan Farron, uh, all of those players kind of were able to get their feet wet last year in a pretty comfortable way. I would say that group will have a lot to do with how our season goes. Uh, not that everything runs through them, and I think they know that, but they're going to have to have – you know, productive years, if not all of them, some of them have to step up and, and be ready to play a lot, if not start. Uh, and that's been a fun challenge for Addison and I think all of that sophomore group to, to try and grow into. Any other questions? Um, St. Thomas, you know, them them potentially maybe joining the league. What are, what are your kind of thoughts on that? Um, you know, being, you've been in this area a long time, you know, some of the, the the recruiting base up Minneapolis, and you've recruited Minnesota pretty well throughout the years. And what are your thoughts on adding St. Thomas in that market up there? Well, as a Gustavus grad and former <laughs> MIAC member, feeling like I've been up in, in St. Thomasville many, many times, I, they're a good addition. Um, they bring a, a very, you know, important recruiting area to our league. If you look at our league, you look at the Missouri Valley, you look at the Big East, you look at a number of leagues around here. There are Twin City athletes on those rosters, and now St. Thomas sits right in the middle of that. So they're really positioned well with their recruiting base. Um, but it also just brings games to that area. And, and so there's going to be people that leave and now have a chance to feel like, oh, I'm going to get to at least play at home here, you know, a few times throughout my career. So uh, I think it's a really good addition. They're a great school. And, and uh, you know, I, I didn't really like them much when I was at Gus Davis. and probably won't <laughs> like them a whole lot now, but they're a great addition because of the strength that they bring to the conference. And looking at the conference, you know, you've been in this conference for a while now, been here since the transit, you know, with all the transitions and such. How have you seen the league grow and evolve, you know, adding UMKC coming up here, Denver's been added, Oral Roberts leaving, coming back, Omaha joining, UND joining and everything. With adding St. Thomas and Augustana, there's been talk about, you know, them wanting to join in. How have you seen it evolve and, and do you feel it keeps getting better? And do you think, you know, those would be two good additions in St. Thomas and Augie? If, you know, if, if Augie is, joins the league. Yeah, I think growth is different than, than membership. I think the league has grown very steadily and, and very consistently every year. Um, and to me, growth is, you know, how you're putting yourself forward on a national level with success. And when you see all the success that, that's happening from you know, a lot of teams in our league, a lot of different programs, that to me is what growth is. Membership is always going to be a little bit separate than that. And I would hope the membership – and I think it has helps you continue to grow. So there's certainly a big part of that. Uh, but the changes in membership to me are all you know, kind of individual 
situations. They need to think about what's best for them, and I suppose that's that's the way it'll always work. Uh, but the league is, you know, I hate to use the word better because those teams that we would have had and been a part of years ago were all very good, uh, but continues to improve. And that's what you want to see with the league and feel like every year you're pushed and challenged. And you want to think every year, geez, we're going to have to be better at South Dakota State because somebody else is better. And, and that's what helps all of us kind of rise up at the same time. So uh, it's been exciting to be a part of and to see where things are now compared to where they were. It's, it's been really positive and it was positive then. Very good. All right. Thanks. Thanks.